What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's quick beginner level tutorial, I'll be showing you how to get started with simple animations in React Native using the Lottie Animations Library, which is a free library to use that has many free and open source JSON files that you can start to incorporate to create simple animations in your React Native applications to enhance the user experience for your apps. So the example we'll be going over today in the video is we have a simple submit um, form here as you could see and what's going to happen after we click the submit form is we're going to see a simple animation of a check mark and thank you for submitting so i'll be walking you through quickly how to get this set up in your react native applications i'll also be using expo on top of react native just to uh, simulate this react native application and by the end of it you will be able to create many animations or download and use many animations just like this one i showed you here for free in react native expo so enough being said let's get started and jump into the project okay so in order to get started with this you simply want to first go to lottie files Dot com before we start our react native application and you simply want to create an account it's very easy to do that you don't even need any credit card information there is a premium version of lottie files that adds some useful features such as having access to more premium files and other sorts of editing you can do but for the most part the free version is really useful for many of your use cases so i just created my account with my gmail and it was really quick to do that and you can see i'm on my dashboard right now so for today's video we simply want the user to have some experience that shows that the form is done so what i did was i just searched done up here to search the animations they have in their libraries and all animations are essentially a json file that has a bunch of information that tells the react native application how to render this this animation so you could see there's many examples here there's some premium ones, I believe. So it should say on the bottom premium if it's premium, but the ones we're looking at on the screen are actually all free. And the one I showed you at the beginning of the video is actually this one. So we can just go ahead and click on it. And it's really easy to get started. We can just go up here and we can download the type of file we want. Let's just download the regular Lottie JSON file, which is how React Native will interpret it and show on the screen. Otherwise we can show an optimized Lottie JSON, which I have not done yet. It does diminish the quality, but it does make it more lightweight. I mean, I don't think that's a big issue because I'm not using too many of these and they're already pretty lightweight. And of course we have other GIFs and source files that you can use to your preference if you want to show it somewhere else maybe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download the Lottie JSON file for this example. And I'm just going to throw that in my app in a sec. But really there's many animations you could do here depending on the use case. Maybe an X mark that shows that they filled the form in incorrectly or other sorts of things. So now that we're done with lottiefiles.com, let's jump back in or let's jump straight into our React Native application and paste this into the assets and get started with it. Okay, so jumping into our React Native Expo application, I'm just gonna start from scratch. So I already have an empty folder, which I'm going to use on my desktop. I called it Lottie Demo. So let's just go ahead and open that. Currently it's just an empty folder. So we're just gonna go and open a new terminal here. And then we're just going to do Expo init and initialize our Expo app and we'll just enter whatever we want for this and give it a second there or it should be fairly quick and so yeah we are going to use a very basic react native application but really you can use this in your advanced react native applications and that's what it's meant for so give that a sec it usually takes a uh, it's usually much quicker than this i don't know why it's taking so long okay perfect now once we're in here we just want to do expo start to open this in the simulator so let's just do that okay we don't have a package that is on uh, we have to, um, oh, let's CD into my app. There we go. And let's do expo start just to show it in the simulator. So let's just go ahead and do that. And let's load it in the simulator. So let's give it a sec. And that should be a base React Native application just with, it contains just some very simple text. So open up app.js, start working on your app. So we're just gonna work with the app.js file. So just the very base React Native application. So I already have the code on the side here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it in, the one you saw at the beginning of the video. And we're just gonna step through it little by little. And so this is the code we have for app.js file. And we're gonna get an error because we actually don't have this package installed. And we just want to npm install the Lottie React Native package which is the only package we have to install for this video so let me just go ahead and do that in a new tab and go to my app and let's just do npm i lottie react native okay perfect now also what we want to do in our app we want to add that json file we downloaded into this assets 
So I'm just going to drag it from another screen I have here, and I'm just going to drag it into this folder. I call it animation.json. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in here. And you could see the file content is just, it contains a bunch of information of how to move pixels on the screen, essentially. I never created one of these from scratch, but I would imagine there's some tools out there that probably um, automate this whole process for you. So if you're ever interested, this is how a Lottie file sort of looks like. It is just a JSON file with a bunch of coordinates and probably colors and that sorts of things. And of course, some other... Uh, objects, maybe images as well. So not too much. We're not going to go into detail about creating Lottie files. So now that we have that, we just want to have some simple imports here. So we're just doing some simple things with uState, and we're not going to go into detail about some uh, about uState specifically. It is a really common uh, thing to use in React, and that's just going to allow us to set the uState of the submitted. So once the user clicks the submit button on the form, it's going to change what we see on the screen. So once they click the submit button, and it changes the value to true, we're actually going to see the animation pop up here. And of course, we have these other imports as well to simply do some styling for our components. You can style it however you like. We have view, text input button. These are just really common um, elements in a React Native application that if you have been working with React Native application, you're probably familiar with that by now. And of course, we have the Lottie React Native imports. And then we have the function that when we click the submit button actually triggers the the set submitted to true, which is going to set submitted to true. And down here, we just have the HTML elements. So that's pretty much all we have. And we have a little thank you for submitting. And we have the animation right here, which is essentially pointing to the file that we downloaded from lottiefiles.com. And we have some other simple styling. And we use some style sheet as well just to clean it up a little more for you guys. In reality, uh, there's probably better ways to style this. You should probably put everything in the style sheet, or there's other ways you can style React Native applications. But once again, that's out of the scope for this video. So once we have that, it should be running just fine now. So let me just refresh it. And let's go back to the simulator here. And really, it doesn't really need anything, but let's just type my name and some email, mahmoud at gmail.com. And we're just gonna click Submit. So hopefully we did everything right. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So we showed how to render a very simple animation, a React Native Expo application using a third-party package, Lottie React Native, which allows us to freely download many nice animations from the internet. So that's a great uh, use case where you can essentially enhance the user experience because trust me, these are things that users users are drawn to your app when it has a nice user experience, nice animations, and thankfully they're lightweight, so it's not gonna add to the slowness of your app. It's gonna keep it lightweight and quick. That's another reason why you want to use Lottie is because it uses these lightweight JSON files. And of course, that pretty much sums it up for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section down below, let me know what you think. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching and take it easy.